Yo, what's up, guys? Fiends is gaming here, and welcome back to Bully. I believe it is episode five or episode four. I don't remember. However, I decided to sleep for the Halloween pranks because, you know, obviously, you know, it's a little difficult. Uh, but you know, let's start help Gary. What are you okay, maybe we're helping Gary with. There you are. He's Come on, I found something him. incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture, and you're worrying about getting into trouble? Oh. Alright, whatever. I accidentally skipped the cutscene. Let's see what Gary wants. Hey, idiots! Somebody wants to be handicapped, right? Are you hurrying yet? I'm gonna make your life a misery! Remember, your mama is better for you! Oh, shoot. Gary, what are you doing? After you. Oh, come on. Enter the school basement. What in the world? Okay, I don't know. Here, follow me. Looks like a mental asylum. This looks very concerning. Hmm. That cage wasn't locked before. Alright. Alright, let's this see. Do some. Activate this. You're really gonna like this, Jimmy. I'm not really liking the feeling already. We can't get in there. How can we get at the switch? Here, follow me. Now, here's another switch I used to. Whoa, fly flyers! <laughs> Looks like I'll pull this down to get the tower. You climb through and get the switch. What have we here? Alright. Alright, let's get the Almost switch. There. We collected a rubber band. I wonder what happens when you collect all the rubber bands. I don't know, I might do research. What are you huh. trying to A steam think? leak. I've heard of those happening, but I've never seen one. People leave stuff lying around everywhere. Oh, radio transmitter. Okay. Lower the furnace temperature a bit. Back the steam would stop. Quick, before it heats up again. Gary, what are you trying to show me here? So, Jimmy boy, here we are. The hole. The place where this school separates the men from the boys. The wheat from the chaff and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people? Keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? Hmm? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's going to be me! What? Dude, what in the world? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you... Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell! Gary, now I hate you. Oh, I know. No. Russell, go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard uh, animals. What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance. What? Oh, you want me to fight this dude? Oh, no. Oh, 
Jesus. now jerk ecstatic i love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other why'd you do it gary i thought we were friends <laughs> friends you and me i've taken dumps that had more brains than you friend no i'm taking over what? the school and you're just a liability see you around moron oh really huh well done jimmy yeah great what a waste right, of thanks time. Thanks for your support, Pete. You all right, Russell? Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom. Yeah. Or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bad Russell. All right, I agree with Jimmy's point here. All right. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. Oh, so we get to go outside of the school. Well, That's Jimmy, cool. word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals. No, I never said that. Yep. Well, never I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. All right. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So, what's it to you? Yeah. Hey, listen, we like to box the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Right. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah, whatever indeed, man. All right. I guess. I've got more important things to worry about. All right, whatever. Let's see what, um, what's outside of here. Uh, there's a mission out here. So, let's check and with whatever mission they want me to do out here. It's a ton of missions to do, so. Oh, I forgot, I can, I can leave the school. All right, let's try to do some missions in the school. All right. Alright, let's see what the they want me to learn from the lunch lady. Last minute shopping. Nice! Ah, shut up, kid! It adds flavor to it! 
You want to give it a go? Sure. Achoo. Achoo. Try and get some bits in it. I've got performance anxiety. <laughs> get used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Worn In. I've had these on since last term. <laughs> mm -mm, uh, hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, no. Okay. We gotta fire her, man. Yeah, we're, we, you gotta fire that lunch lady. Troublemakers will be found. Disagree. What if I just leave her? Or what if I just leave her? What if I leave her bike in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> Someone's probably gonna steal it. Get into class, you little turd. Mm, no, screw you. I'm trying to run errands, man. Who do you think you are? Sorry, but uh... Not bad, but all of that worth just that little amount of money for everyone to get That's sick. That nonsense dealt with. All right, whatever. All right, well I guess kids are gonna be kind of sick. So. Mm, mm, mm. Screw you! I'm trying to get the class. Biology. All right. Good morning, class. Are we all ready to cut something open today? Ugh. No. Not really. Alright. 
Speed run. Don't you like cutting things open? No. You're acting like I enjoy this. If I did this in real life, I'd probably throw up the second I cut it open. Oh, no, wrong thing. Alright, scalpel. Cut the organ. Why are we cutting out a rat's organs? That's disgusting. Yeah, it really is. Oh god, intestines. Okay, why are we cutting a rat's organs out, man? What did the rat do to the biology teacher, man? What the what did the rat do to you, man? Or maybe that's oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Oh. Take your time, boy. Dissection is an art. Hmm. All right. That's rather well. You have a steady hand for a ruffian. All right. I rock. Hazmat headgear unlocked. I'm good. That's all there is to it. Is that gonna help me? Telling me each time I do a class, I end up, <laughs> I end up like scanning something. What the heck? Okay. Earn some extra cash. Oh, oh, I know. I accidentally ran over a prefect. Shoot. You know what? I'm just gonna go to the nearest mission possible. Oh my god, people are getting beat up left and right. What are the prefects doing when people are getting beat up left and right, man? What are y'all doing when this ha when it's happening, man? When it's actually happening. Character sheets, huh? Bunch of thieving jerks! What's up, Melvin? Ah, greetings. What do you want? Jimmy, listen! Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Boy, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught! Role-playing is the high point of human achievement. In fact, upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight whomsoever recovers these precious screens. Do you accept the quest? How much? Ten groats. What? I mean ten bucks. <laughs> Wait here. And you can have your pick of my wenches. Great. Alright. So I guess we get this dude's this character is the piece of I've ever had. What? I guess. You forgot that bus we need boots. Oh whenever. shoot. Alright, they, they really don't play around. Way that easy. Come here, come here, buddy. Jesus, man. This guy's a slippery guy. You think you slick, buddy? Oh, shoot. This guy is tactical. Like 
Oh god. Bro, what are you doing? Just kill me. Or just give me the gold. You're acting like I ain't trying. These other students, they're sk they're probably skipping too. Why am I the only one getting getting being getting on to this one? You recovered my precious documents. Thank you, sir. You are a noble man indeed. Just give me the money, Melvin. Yeah, just give me it. Gets class. Actually, I have a smarter tactic. You true is disgusting. Did I make myself clear? I hope you enjoy that as much as I did. Now then, is everyone here? Excellent. Let's proceed. All right.
Gets me um over the oh. Alright. Let's see what the uh, this is. English, huh? Hatrick versus Galloway. School rules are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. Oh. No alcohol on school grounds. Uh. You're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Huh? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? Yes, you are. In charge of children. What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A uh, parent? A disgraceful <laughs> one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? Uh, I'm just under a lot of pressure. Hmm. Uh, well, I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sat. Uh, do whatever you want, Hattrick. You always do. The head will find out about this. Oh, no. All right. You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm I can half see drunk, that. and I'm about to get fired. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I'm a washed up old drunk and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet, but nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods. Give me that. Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only <clears throat> teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do. Okay, you're gonna pull out another drink. Alright, well, I can't... I don't condone what he's doing, but, you know, I understand... I definitely understand the stress of teaching... Uh, of teaching, you know. Being a teacher isn't easy. You know, but obviously don't... Don't drink here, man. Don't drink, like... At least not here. Not in school. You know, maybe, maybe do that on your off time. Do that when... You know, you're not in school. Galloway's bottle. Right. <laughs> Looks 
like Patrick and Galloway are at it again. Well, all right. You, all right. What are you doing? I got Galloway's bottle. All right, please. Now, please. All right. I'll tell him to not drink in school. Now, it's time to tell him to not drink in school. All right. and the hobo we're doing. Oh well. Oh wait, I can talk to the hobo guy because I have a transistor. A little help too. Thanks, kid. Okay, now let's trade. Just what I wanted. This was my favorite combination. 